United Nations Special Rapporteur Agnes Gallimard says waging a war on drugs or adopting a punitive approach to the problem does not work. Calamard is the Special Rapporteur of the UN and an expert on the issue of extrajudicial executions. Many harms associated with drugs are not caused by drugs, but by the negative impact of badly thought out drug policies. Calamard adds compounded problems include killings, criminal gangs, breakdown of the rule of law, vigilante crimes, and illegal detention of suspects. She's in the country on the invitation of the Free Legal Assistance Group, one of the organizers of a two-day conference on drug policies. Calamard was also a guest at the 30th anniversary of the Commission on Human Rights Thursday night. President Rodrigo Duterte claimed on Thursday that Calamard was in the Philippines to investigate extrajudicial killings. But CHR Chairperson Chito Gascon says it was an academic visit, which is another way that a UN official can visit the country. Duterte previously challenged Calamar to a debate on extrajudicial killings, but she rejected this, saying she preferred a joint press conference instead. Calamar was invited by the Duterte administration last year, but it came with conditions, such as allowing the Philippine president to propound his own questions to Calamar. Abu Sayyaf member Saad Samad Kiram is gone down early Friday after he allegedly tried to escape, less than 24 hours after he was arrested by authorities in Bohol. Police say Kiram supposedly tried to escape en route to a local jail in Bohol at around 2.30 a.m. He reportedly told government personnel he had a stomach ache, prompting them to stop the vehicle. Kiram was able to run away, triggering an hours-long pursuit operation. He is killed at around 4.30 a.m. after he tried to steal the gun of a cop. Kiram was arrested Thursday morning after he asked for food and clothing from a Tubigon Bohol resident. The resident notified authorities that Kiram was inside his home. Kiram was allegedly among the Abu Sayyaf members who traveled via pump boat from Sulu in Mindanao to Inabanga in Bohol. Government forces launched operations against the ASG in April, which supposedly intended to kidnap tourists during the Holy Week break. United States President Donald Trump wins a much-needed victory from Congress Thursday after Republicans narrowly pushed a bill through the House of Representatives repealing Obamacare. A vote of 217 to 213 highlights the concerns of many in the Republican Party who fear the bill could strip billions of Americans of their coverage and send costs skyrocketing. The bill will almost certainly need substantial revisions if it is to pass the Senate, but Trump expresses optimism the controversial new measure will ultimately become law. Trump says, quote, We're going to get this passed through the Senate. I feel so confident. An earlier version of the Republican plan collapsed in March when party moderates and conservatives refused to get on board, dealing Trump one of his most stinging setbacks since he took office. Mm-hmm.